Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. How are all you guys doing? I hope that everyone is doing well, you guys. I've already posted the winner for the last round Honey Pot raffle, you guys. I posted the link on, the, the, on my Instagram, not the link. I posted the winner on my Instagram, and I also posted the winner on my community board you guys so if you're not following me over on youtube what are you waiting for what are you waiting for loves okay make sure that you're following me over on ig the link is in the description box <laughs> you guys also i've already reopened the raffle for another round another round of our honey pot raffle you guys okay so if anybody because i know i'm going to get messages like what's the honey pot raffle because our family is growing daily oh my god we're getting so big i appreciate it i appreciate it so for all of my new love bugs here on our channel we have something called mystic bees honey pot raffle it is a blessing pot you guys the tickets are one dollar and eleven cents and that is just our channel way of showing love and giving back right okay so <clears throat> enough of that jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and um, clear out any residual energy from the last reading so that we can go ahead and tap into a new collective's energy. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for getting grounded with me okay all right <clears throat> so let's get it it's all the way live we all the way live well we're really not live you know i'm gonna upload <laughs> okay so yeah let's go ahead and tap in universe ancestors spirit guides galactic family galactic beings my galactic soul family go ahead and give me um what is the overall energy for my beautiful love book go ahead and give me the storyline what is going on only allow messages to come through from the highest source of love and light high spirit two more times one focus and all shall come into place so you know spirit is stepping forward to say that you guys stay focused okay don't allow the situation with with um or past circumstances that are clearly out of your control to cause you to create chaos energetically around you i'm hearing they don't want you to stray off the path okay all right I would drown in a pool of coins if I could spend it on a lifetime with you, you guys. Let me tell you something about this message. Every time this 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 card rarely comes out, but this particular card was a telepathic conversation between um, that my DM sent me like um, a year ago over a year ago and i put it in the message to share with you guys because i thought it was so beautiful so they're saying that they would drown in a pool of coins if they could spend it on a lifetime with you so it's just like this person is like dying to spend this lifetime with you but i really feel like that there are some type of blockages some some something has been blocking this union okay something has been blocking you guys from coming into physical union with each other Whether it's your person's doing, um, them acting out of their lower selves, acting out of their lower 3D selves, which can cause major, um, major problems um, in this soulmate journey or this this twin flame journey or whatever you resonate with. I don't I don't even want to put labels on it, even though I'm using my twin flame conversations and secrets deck. 
I don't want to use, I don't want to just put labels on it because I have a mixture of a lot of different type of connections that watch me, you guys. So I'm reaping what I have sown. So this person is in the process of, of cleaning out karma. They are paying off karma. Um, some things that happened in the past reincarnation between you guys, things that happened re like recently, like in this lifetime that they did to you, um, things that they've done to other people. Like this person is, they're re they are reaping what they have sown. I feel like this person could have chosen another person over you. They could have took another path. This person could have like literally abandoned you on this journey. Um, <clears throat> I like to say took you out to swim and left you out there. Knowing that you were so deep in love with them that you trusted this person with your everything. You trusted them with your heart. This person knew you couldn't swim. You could have told them that. You know, they still, they was like, well, trust me. Do you trust me? Trust me. You can trust me. And they took you out there and they just left you out there. And it, you had to literally fight your way back to shore. Literally, it wasn't even just you getting yourself back to shore. It, this was like divine intervention. Like this massive wave came through and took you to shore. All you had to do was release control and allow God to guide you. Allow spirit to lead you and guide you. Try not to, you try, you, it's like you were trying to fight to survive after this person left you out there in the deepest water, right? Water represents emotion. They left you in the deepest fucking like depths of your emotion that, that they could have took you to. And they left you out there and they went on to the next person, right? This person didn't think, one, that you were going to survive, that you were going to make it through. They didn't know that spirit favors you. They didn't know that your ancestors uh, watch over you. They didn't know that you have these higher level beings that watch over you and they saw everything. So they came through with this massive wave, which could have represented like some type of tower moment in you guys' life, right? This tower moment was necessary to get you back to shore, get you back to yourself. So... That's really, really dope, really beautiful. I really hate that it, it happened this way. I hate that, you know, this person did this to you. Like, I wouldn't wish this on my enemies. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. It's just, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. And I hate that this happened. But I'm so proud of the way that you guys have put yourself back together on this journey, the way that you fought, how you uh, called in, you cried out, you cried out for God to help you for, to send divine intervention to send something, you know, because you wasn't, you feel like you wasn't going to make it if, if it was not for God, if it wasn't not for spirit, if it wasn't not for your ancestors, if it wasn't not for the power that, that, that was lying dormant within you. I feel like what this person did to you, like was the catalyst to you becoming this, this, this powerhouse that you are now, you're a very powerful being, but you've always been this way, but it took this person coming through and, and dragging you out to sea, leaving you in your emotions with no lighthouse. You had to become the lighthouse. You had to depend on the the light of spirit the light of source the light of god you had to depend on your ancestors you had to depend on your galactic family you had to depend on the powers that be to come through and guide you right I, i'm feeling like there was many days of depression hunger grief sorrow just just deprived you just felt deprived or you were depriving yourself because this person made you feel unworthy that was the energy of feeling unworthy but this was all to pretty much teach you self-worth yeah this situation taught you guys about self-worth and that you are worthy of true love regardless if it's from them or the next person or whoever God sends in your life. All right. I think I channeled everything from that. Let's see if y'all hear any munchkins in the background. Those are my kids. Those are my little shits. Okay. <laughs> All right. Right, spirit, what else? Wow, this person, 
They are not sleeping at all. This is somebody literally sitting on the side of their bed, broke down. This person has like bruises on their back. Like this is someone being, this person, I heard a lashing. Spirit literally beat this person. Like they went through, or they're, and they could still be currently going through the ultimate karma for what they did to you. This person's all beat up right now. They're all bruised up from the inside out. Like this is somebody whose spirit has to literally whoop them into submission. This, per this person was re refusing to submit to spirit and that's the thing. I feel like this person wanted you to submit to them, but they could not, they couldn't submit to God. So like, how does that go? How do you want <clears throat> your divine feminine or divine masculine? You want this, your divine partner to submit to you, <clears throat> but you want to submit to source. You want to submit to the highest love of all. Because if this person did, if they was, if they would submit to source, to divine, to spirit, to God, then they would have treated you better. They would have treated you better. They would have treated you like they're equal and, and not treated you like someone that was less than them because they would have knew love and they would have knew God. And if they knew God, they would have knew themselves and ultimately they would have found you. So this person not sleeping is very much so a part of their karma. You guys, these cards will be available on my Etsy shop as well. Well, they are available on my Etsy shop. <clears throat> Our souls already know each other, don't they? It's our bodies that are new. So this is definitely um, past the flesh. You guys, your souls know each other, but it's this person in their flesh. <clears throat> this person's flesh was just unawakened. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this person's flesh was rebelling. This person's flesh was going against what their soul already knew. And that and that was that you are their person, right? You are their life partner. 12-12 on the, on the timer when I said this. So you are this person's life partner. It's always been you. From the moment you guys met, when you locked eyes, there was an energy of I found you, right? So you guys found each other from a previous life. If you only knew how much you mean to me. So this person is sitting in this energy depressed because they never expressed to you exactly how much you mean to them. Like they never found the words to say or they were listening to what other people had to say about what love is and what they should or should not offer you. So this person allowed third party energies where they was karmic friends, karmic family members, just people that was just literally designed to come through and interfere with this divine connection. Like that was their soul's purpose to come through and plant negative seeds in, into this person's already weakened mind to deter them off of this path with you. <clears throat> I feel like I'm chasing the wind. I'm torn and I'm tired. So this is your energy. You know, you feel, I feel like you could currently still feel this way, but you felt like you were getting nowhere fast. This person may be feeling this now. It's like they're feeling, I'm hearing like a mirroring energy. No, they're not mirroring, but the, rever the roles have reversed. So now this person, like you're so absent from their life right now. You, They no longer energetically feel you to the point where they feel like they're chasing the wind. Like it's nothing. They hear your voice in the wind, literally. They feel your energy. They feel your essence, but you're not there. I'm hearing like their mind is playing tricks on them. Spirit is intentionally antagonizing this person. They are intentionally reminding this person of you. Look at that. Pride and ego. Pride and ego. You know, I feel like both you guys at one point, you could have been like, well, I'm not going to reach out to this person because I'm always the one that's reaching out. And this person is like, well, she's going to have to chase me or this person is used to people chasing them. But ultimately, pride and ego got in the way of um, you guys coming together with this person. If you're not too long, I will wait for you all my life. So this it in itself is talking about some eternal love. You guys are eternal lovers. 
So this is just saying like your 3D self is saying, I'm done. I'm not waiting on this person no more. They can kiss my ASS, okay? Like I'm done with you, but your higher self is like, no, that's my kingdom husband. That's my partner, you know, or, um, or my kingdom wife. That's my spouse. That's my everything. And then, and if they're not too long, I'm going to wait for them. I'm going to wait for them all my life like 15 15 on a timer so this is like your higher self is like still gonna wait your lower self is choosing not to wait and move forward and that's a beautiful thing i wouldn't ask you to wait on anybody but your higher self is just like very much possibly still going to be um you know waiting for this person because you guys are i'm hearing that you guys are eternal lovers i can't explain what I mean, even if I could, I'm not sure you would even understand. This person wants to explain to you what happened. They want to explain to you what what went on, how this heartbreak, how all of this, what happened, what led them up to breaking your heart. They want to talk to you about their childhood trauma and the way that they was raised. They want to talk to you about all these things, you know, but this person is just, they feel like you're not going to hear them out. They feel like you're not going to understand them. Separation is painful, but we we are in a spiritual agreement. Our souls understand what must be done. Didn't I just say this? I just said that you guys may be in physical separation, but the souls understand what must be done. Therefore, you are physically moving forward with your life, but your soul is not going to budge. This person's soul is not going to budge. This, it's like you, your both you guys' souls are already together. But it's like getting the getting getting it to manifest here on the earthly realm. This is not the end. We will cross paths again someday. So it's not over. It's not over. You guys are destined to cross paths with this person again. Sometimes I wonder if you're better off without me. Being without you feels like hell. So this person at this point, or they're feeling like you're better off without them currently. They feel like they've done so much damage to you. They, they've just done so, some things that are just unforgivable. I'm hearing unforgivable, some things that they've done to you. And I'm hearing specifically some things that you don't even know that they did. This person could have talked about you behind your back. They could have made fun of you, especially like if you're spiritual or something like that. Like they could have went out of their way to like get a laugh off of your expense. It's just this person could have like downplayed how they feel about you in front of people, made you made you come off or made you made other people feel like you were just um, a booty call or something like that. Like this person really would they went out of their way to hurt you. They went out of their way. Well, this person is currently paying for this. And this is why being without you feels like hell. And they're going to continue to feel this way. This person have to pay for, they have to pay their karma off. Like you can't just get away with treating the person that God made for you. You can't get away with treating this person like this. Like they just can't get away with that. They have to pay for this. Each lifetime, each dimension, I'm running and I'm hiding. I'm shame and full of regret. I let you carry us on your own, your strength, I'm honored. So this person is saying that each and every lifetime is the same issue. This person is always running from you. They're always doing things to sabotage the connection. But this person is also taking an opportunity to acknowledge your strength, how strong you are. And it's their higher self is saying that they are honored to be the one that God chose for you. Even though their lower selves are acting out, their higher selves are saying that it is an honor. To be paired with someone as strong, as resilient as you, as beautiful as you. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me get the energy for this person for the next 48 hours. And then I'm going to wrap this reading up. Spirit, what is this person's energy for the next 48 hours? person sneaky as shit the magician with the seven of swords this person is trying to sneak they're manifesting something privately this is a very sneaky trying to get away with something because they ain't they're not sleeping so i'm telling you this is two energies of anxiety is here this person is up all night long 
trying to strategize a sneaky way to come back in your life. Ten of Pentacles in the Magician. Yeah, this person is trying to. <laughs> this person is up and going to be up for the next forty-eight hours, trying to manifest um, a new solid foundation, a new solid um, new beginning with you, something stable, a new home. Like they want to build something with you, and they're trying to scheme. <laughs> Cause they're tired of grieving over you. This person is tired of missing you. Ten of Pentacles just talks about this could be like a marriage, kids, the house, wealth, business, you know, coming together, partnership, life partnership, just just overall um, success with you, happiness with you. This person in the next 40 hours is also going to be in an energy of continuing to stalk you, watch you, you know, possibly still in this immature energy. You know, which I'm be real, it is immature. Like, it's a beautiful love story, true enough. But this person really needs to grow up. They chose the wrong path. They gave an offer to somebody else. They chose another path and they gave their love offer to somebody else. It didn't work out. Page of Cups in reverse. Now this person is stuck out in the cold. Now they're they're left without anything. Now they're with they're they're. This person is wanting this new beginning with you because they got backstabbed. They got betrayed and this was their karma. And it is what it is. Now they're wanting to start over and it's totally up to you. This person in this page energy is just very immature. I'm hearing cloudy. Like their mind is cloudy right now because they just can't believe that this is happening to them. But guess what? Hell, when they did you like this, you couldn't believe that that was happening to you. So at this point, may the cars fall where they lay. All right? Peace.